Hello everyone! So recently Clip Studio did an update that added this new feature called Colorize. It's a really cool feature that lets you color your pictures and I thought it might be kind of fun to show you all. So first what you're going to need is some line art. I have two line art layers. I have this one called line art and then I have this one called face. And basically I just have the line art for her face on this layer. I separate the face from the line art because I find that the colorize feature kind of works weirdly with the line art of the face. And so I'm just going to have it reference my line art layer and it's basically just going to ignore the face layer. So I'm going to click on my line art layer and then I'm going to click this button right here called set as reference layer. So now Clip Studio will reference this layer when uh, colorizing the picture. Now we can actually just go up here and go to edit, colorize, and then colorize all. And then this will just automatically color the picture. Um, all by itself and it kind of does kind of this orangey pinky color scheme. Now it does color some pictures better than others with this picture. This automatic coloring thing kind of looks a little weird but sometimes it does really nicely results kind of just depending on the line art. Um, but here's how it decided to color the picture. So I will control Z and undo that. And next we're going to make it color the picture the colors I want it to color. So I have these colors over here and they're on this layer called colors and I'm going to make a new layer and start coloring the, this picture. So I'm going to select the skin tone and I'm actually using my mouse for this. So I'm just going to plop some color in here and so I have the skin tone and then I'm going to make her hair be kind of a gradient and so I'm going to have this uh, pink on her hair and then I might add a lighter pink up here and then I'm going to add a dark purple down here and I might bring this pink down a little bit more, but you can just kind of splotch the color in and then Clip Studio will kind of do the rest. And for her hoodie, I might actually select her hoodie because this might be easier if I select her hoodie. <laughs> so I select the hoodie with the magic wand tool and then I'm just going to go in and add some splotches of blue and teal. I'm going to put this darker color over here. And so now that I have the picture colored, I can go to edit colorize and then use hint image and colorize. Now when I do this I want to make sure I have my color layer selected and then I have the line art set as the reference layer. So I click this and then it will think a little bit and then it will color the picture. And ta-da! It turns from these random splotches of color to this kind of soft and cool gradient and it's really really fun to play around with. One thing I do always have a hard time with is that I can never get to color the eyes even when I put my face line art with all my normal line art. It always just blurs out the eyes or the color of the eyes just kind of blur all over the face. Uh, so for me, I often have to color the eyes myself, so I guess we'll do that real quick. And there we go, the picture's colored. Another thing I often like to do is I'll go along the outside edge of the line art because the color will kind of like blur out even outside of the line art. And so I take the magic wand tool and I kind of just click everywhere and then I press the clear and then ta-da! <laughs> It's a really kind of fun way to play around with colors or if you want to try a ton of different colors but you don't want to take the time to like keep coloring your picture, you can just easily test out colors this way and it's really fun to play around with. Another thing you can do is you could just color one part of the picture. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the magic wand tool and I'm going to select inside of her hair. And once I select all the parts of the hair, I'm going to make sure I select all the parts. Yep. So once I select all of the hair, I can uh, just color the hair and then I'll splotch uh, some colors on it. Ooh, let's maybe try coloring her hair blue this time. So I'm going to use my lighter blue and I'm going to use my darker blue and I'm going to use my really dark blue down here. And then I'll do the edit, colorize, you hint, use hint image and colorize. And since I have the hair selected, it will not go outside of the hair. And so I click that and now it'll color the hair. And ta-da! <laughs> It kind of just gives this really cool kind of gradient to the hair. For some reason, it always likes to make this strand right here super light. Um, so you'll get very different results just depending on your line art, which I think is kind of fun. Let's maybe try one more color test just to see what kind of result I can get. I'm going to use really random colors. So let's maybe use uh, light green and then 
then maybe down here I'll use, I don't know, a pink. <laughs> and then for her skin, maybe we'll use like a kind of brown color. And maybe for her neck, I'll use a slightly darker brown. So maybe it'll kind of shade it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And then for the middle part, we'll use this tealy color. Okay, let's see what we get with this. Oh, it actually looks really cool. So this feature is just a lot of fun to play around with. And I really actually like the gradients it made. It looks really cool. So yeah, that is the colorize feature in Clip Studio. I hope you had fun kind of watching me play around with it. Um, one last thing, there is this colorize use more advanced settings, but these are more advanced settings, so I don't totally know how to work them. <laughs> but maybe sometime I'll do a video on that once I learn how to use them. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next week in my next video. Bye! Before I end this video, I want to say thank you so much to my patrons, including Rachel, Andrew, Fani, Cash Money Matt, Julie, Nav from Academy Games, Robert, Tamalam, Pisatera, and Magic Gamer Dad, Eduardo, AJ, Fulmerin, Narichan, Titus, Daniel, Daniel, Aaron, and Patrick. Thank you so much for being a patron and for your support.